Now, I know this is not like the biggest thing ever. I, I get that. How many times do you use a Cargo Bob in GT Online? Probably not that often. However, if you do decide for whatever reason you need a Cargo Bob, there is only one that you should be using. And it's not the Cargo Bob and it's not the Cargo Bob Jet Sam. Don't know why there's two in this game, but it's neither of them. The Cargo Bob you're gonna wanna use is the Air Freight. This thing is head and shoulders above any of the other Cargo Bobs in the game. And it's much like the Runer 2000 from the fully loaded uh, CEO mode in that for whatever reason, it just gets a bunch of buffs when you start up this mission. So it does require a CEO like the fully loaded Runer 2000, and it does require you, you need to purchase a Cargo Bob. So, you know, they're relatively inexpensive. A lot of the times I've seen them on sales, but uh, you are gonna need, of course, a Cargo Bob. But I think if you've been using a Cargo Bob, or if you wanna use a Cargo Bob, you probably already have one. So the way this works, simply go to your CEO menu, like you're seeing in the gameplay, go to the, uh, the you know, the, the jobs section, and start up the air freight mode. This is going to give you the best cargo bob for at least 20 minutes. I, I didn't actually test to see if it blows up after 20 minutes or not, uh, but maybe, maybe you can keep it forever, who knows. This thing though is so much better. And I don't know why it's not like the default cargo bob, especially in today's day in GTLI, you know, where people got rockets, bikes got rockets, cars got rockets, guns got rockets, everything's got rockets nowadays. Submarines got rockets, right? So I don't know why they don't just make this the default one, but what this does, how is it even better? So right off the bat, it looks cooler. I mean, come on, red and black. I think that is the, the Cargo Bob Jet Sam like livery, but it is better than the one you can buy. It has a longer cable. No, it's not that much longer, but it is slightly longer. And that does come in handy in a number of scenarios. I can't tell you how many times, you know, you, you pick up your cargo bob, you're trying to pick up a car, and for whatever reason, it's just not sticking, and you keep hitting trees, you keep hitting all these things, because the stupid cable isn't long enough. Well, look, that changes it. This one, for whatever reason, is longer. Also, it's stronger. This thing can pick up things that you can't even touch with the regular cargo bob. Here, I'm picking up a freaking, uh, what is this? I, I don't remember the name of it but it's the truck that shoots flames from the arena. Now, I will say, and you can kind of see in the uh, the gameplay, it, it it has its limits. It's still, you know, not invincible, I guess, because you do struggle slightly to, to drive this thing around, but I just wanted to test to see, you know, a big vehicle, I, I, but any other big vehicle that you can cargo bob, this thing will do it very well. And then the fourth thing, if that's what number we're on, takes rocket explosions. Now, I will say it's not that many, but it's more than the actual one, the, the regular one. The regular one, one rocket is dead, basically. This one can withstand a couple of rockets. I think four-ish or so rockets from an Oppressor Mark II, and, and you're still going. And uh, <laughs> look at this clip. This guy thought he could blow me up because he thought I was probably a regular cargo bob. Tries to blow me up. The rocket basically bounces off of me, and then he dies. Now, unfortunately, it did kind of mess up my, my vehicle. I believe I got hit by a couple other rockets at another point because, you know, of course, Rocket or Oppressor Mark II guy, he was trying to blow me up. But uh, but yeah, I mean, we didn't blow up and we, we killed the guy, right? So it's good, good stuff. And I did actually forget the, the best part, I think, of this whole thing. I do not believe people can lock onto you. So if people want to blow you up, not only can this thing withstand a couple of rockets, but they actually have to aim with whatever. It doesn't just auto lock onto you. So that in and of itself is probably one of the number one reasons to use this cargo bob. So yeah, very quick video. I, I know again, it's not like the, the biggest of things to know in GT line, but again, if you're ever in a situation where you need a, a, a cargo bob, make sure you pick up the air freight one. And if you're just looking for something fun to do, pick up this thing, put a tank on it like we're doing here, and then just do whatever you want. Try and kill people, try and you know throw the tank on people. You, there's a number of things you can do with the Cargo Bob. And because this one is stronger, harder to kill, and uh, has a longer cable, it just allows you many more opportunities. So anyway, that's gonna do it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please drop it a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more GTA content. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.